Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little surprise for you all and yeah, I've been quite excited to share this. So basically, we have a new little addition who we've had for nearly two weeks now. <laughs> that was uh, quite a big jump there, Anya. So I'd, I'd really not planned to get any more rabbits because I had the perfect little group of four and I just thought... You know, that's that's great now having a, a little herd and they get on well. So I just kind of, I was really happy with our little group. So yeah, I'd not had any intentions to get any more, but then I'd been, <laughs> they were following me because they're, they're waiting for their food right now. I'd been uh, contacted by a lady who actually got in touch with me a few years ago, trying to rehome her male rabbit who was two at the time, and that was sort of the back end of 2019. So yeah, she was trying to rehome him because they have allergies in their household and obviously it's not something that she wanted to do, but it was kind of having to consider everyone really. And I had a bonded pair of two and adding one more to that just wasn't really... Like, at the time, it wasn't really what I felt was right for them. So, obviously, now the dynamics have changed. Now we have... we got another pair. Oh, my gosh, she's on my knee. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she's looking for the food. <laughs> Where are you going, Ola? So, yeah, she's just chilling on my knee right now. So, I can't even remember where I was. Yeah, so at the time it wasn't really right, but since getting these two, the dynamics have changed. I figured, you know, maybe adding a fifth wouldn't be such a bad idea. It could work because we kind of have a different setting now with the rabbits and they'd probably be better able to accept another. And yeah, she'd actually got back in touch to say he was still available, even, you know, several years on. She only wanted him to go to like a, a home she was happy with, I suppose, and able to stay in touch with the new owner. So yeah, like I said, I'd really not planned to get any more rabbits. And this was just kind of, um, came a bit out of the blue really, because I'd completely forgot all about it, to be honest. Um, but the fact he was still available and we now have the means to kind of take on another rabbit it seemed like actually a, a good thing to be able to do. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce you to the new rabbit if we find him. He's a little bit more anxious and shy than the others. He's quite a timid rabbit. And, yeah, it, he's still settling in after a couple of weeks already. So here he is. Here you are. This is Benji. So Benji is probably... I guess he'll be four or five now. Probably closer to being five, I'm not entirely sure, but... Here he is. He's a beautiful rabbit. <laughs> he's a really stunning rabbit. And, yeah, like I say, he's, he's quite... Um, I'd say more introverted maybe because he likes his own space and he's lived as like a, a lone rabbit. He's only really been around cats. Early conditioning kind of helps them to socialise properly and if he's not really had that then I guess it'll be hard for him. So yeah, he's, um, see if we can get him to come out a bit. I don't think he wants to. Oh, here he is. See, he's like really comfortable around me. He's very curious of his surroundings as well, but he kind of prefers his own space and he's not overly fussed about interacting with the other rabbits. So it's actually worked out pretty well though because I guess <laughs> he's having a little sniff of Piper now. He's showing that he actually is curious of the rabbits just to prove me wrong <laughs> but 
I guess I was a bit concerned how it would be having another male because we have only one other male which is Bigwig and I was a bit worried that there would be some kind of conflict there but he's very submissive actually and the fact he's very um, sort of he's not assertive at all or anything meant it was a much easier process. The only real issue was initially Piper was quite aggressive towards him. She'd chase him around for a good few days actually and was pulling out a lot of his fur. But other than that, the others kind of just ignored him really and didn't really acknowledge him too much other than giving him a bit of a sniff. And Bigwig really couldn't care less for there being another male. I feel like he just kind of sees him as part of the furniture, it's really strange. But um, Piper definitely was quite assertive with him and, yeah, kind of put him in his place a bit. I guess she's probably more of the boss rabbit now. So it actually, it, it did go very smoothly to be fair. I moved them in here because they needed like a, a more neutral area. So we'll be keeping them in here now. But it, it is kind of a bit better for them really. And it's a little bit bigger. So that's good. And they've got shelves and stuff. They can get out their way of each other if they want to. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that with you. He's, I mean, it, he is, like I say, quite still learning to be more comfortable around all the others and find his place a bit. I guess he's still going to take a while to settle in and feel like he can properly socialise with the others. I don't know when that will come or if it will. Maybe he'll always want to be by himself a bit more. But now, if any of them come to see him, he's much more relaxed and he's definitely changed. So that's really good, actually. And I guess he's just going to take his time, really. So yeah, it's just trying to get him to eat stuff as well because, he's again, he's not a massive eater. Like you'll see the others are just grazing all the time. But yeah, it's, it's just kind of getting him to feel comfortable enough around the others, which is kind of the biggest struggle right now, getting him to eat properly. But every day I do notice he's getting a little bit better and a little bit more relaxed. So I guess it'll come in time, but yeah, they're also different though. Like I, I mean, <laughs> you see like the two new girls, like Ola and Enya are very much love to explore all their surroundings. They're very interactive with me. Big Wig is always just happy as long as he has Piper. And um, yes, yeah, it is really fascinating to see like how they sort of dynamics work and how they fit together really. That is definitely interesting. <laughs> and they kind of like sometimes chop and change who they'll sit with. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. I guess like he's he's gonna take a while to settle in and be as comfortable as these guys. I'm gonna say bye. <laughs> Getting a little bit braver. There he is. <laughs> I mean, he's interested in the camera.